Doja. Miss Doja Cat. She's saying that we, we, she said that we, I can't keep up the African Nigerian accent. I wish I could. The Nigerian like African accent is hard. I wish, you know, I wish I could keep it up, but I'm not good at accents. Doji Cat said, what did she say? She said, she said, she said, eh, I said what I said. I'd rather be famous instead. And now she's going to say, no, I didn't really say that. I didn't really mean it like that. It's just art. Everything's just art. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Doja Cat said that she says she's not a Satanist. I don't think there might have been some people that might have accused Doja Cat of being a Satanist. I don't believe I was one of those people that called her a Satanist. I don't think I've ever said those words. If I if I have, then feel free to correct me. But I don't believe I've, I've ever called her a Satanist. But I have said that there's definitely some demons that are taken over. That's what I did say. I, did, I never said Satanist. Because those are two very different things. Those are two very different things. Because, look, you can be oppressed or possessed or serving the devil without necessarily being a Satanist or without necessarily knowing it. Right. But let me play this clip. Um, let me just say it's some language. All right. It's some language in this clip. You know, those Doja like to use, you know, the the the, the F's and, and all that. All right. So just so y'all know. All right. So let's get into these uh, two couple clips. Um, and then, as always, let's, uh, you know, let's have a little conversation. Let's have a little conversation. All right. Let's go. Always like tied to like this, like Illuminati, Satan worship, mm -hmm. boom. And so then popular person comes out looking like Satan. Here they go again, yeah. promoting this Satanism and et cetera, et cetera. Somebody like myself goes, nah, that's just an artist. She's, she's trying to scare y'all because she knows that you're gonna have some visceral reaction to this imagery. Or I'm minding my fucking business. So there's, you know, I like the idea of I did it on purpose and it's it's this big ruse to like make people react. Right. But I also like the idea of, you know, which what it is, is that I love this piece of visual art. I like this visual for this sound. So I chose that visual and I applied it to the sound. And All right. So if you don't know what she's talking about. She says she loves this type of visual for this sound, right? She loves these types of visuals for the sound. She loves these types of visuals for the sound. You love these types of visuals for the sound. One has to ask the question because it's only a, a natural question that pops into your head is how does one come to love these types of visuals for the sound? How does one come to love these types of visuals? Because whether you want to believe it or not, Doja Cat, and I'm going to show you another clip and I'm, we're actually not even done watching this clip. So, we're, you know, we're going to finish this clip. But whether you want to believe it or not, Doja Cat, everything is spiritual. You got to ask yourself, why am I producing this type of quote unquote art in the first place? Where is this stemming from? What is going on inside of my spirit that is causing me to produce such dark and demonic art? Why do I like that type of imagery in the first place? Because most people don't naturally like demonic stuff, dark stuff, e evil and wicked stuff. There's some people, there's some people who enjoy watching scary movies. They enjoy having nightmares. They enjoy all of that, you know, stuff, weird stuff. There's some people, I, you know what, honestly, back in the day, I used to enjoy a really good scary movie back in the day before I understood the impact that it was having on me spiritually. Before I knew that there was such a thing as grieving the Holy Spirit. Before I knew all of that, yeah, I would enjoy a scary movie, like a horror movie. 
but it would affect me like for days after for weeks after I'm thinking about these scenes in my head and it's sinking into my spirit and it's affecting me and it's producing an output whether I know it or not whether I like it or not so you got to start to ask yourself Doja Cat why do you like these dark and demonic images and why do you associate that with art as opposed to something more light and something more life-giving how come you default towards death as opposed to images and art that is more life-giving well it's because your spirit is unwell and you know it it, it none of us are perfect that's why Christ came and died is because we were all unwell. And, you know, to a certain point, we, we were still all unwell, you know, unless you are covered and washed by the blood of Jesus. And to some people that might sound corny, right? That might sound corny. Like, oh, why do I need to be washed by the blood of Jesus? You know? Well, because you're a sinner and the standard to get into heaven is perfection and you're already tainted. You're already imperfect. There's nothing that you can do to clean yourself up. Your good works are filthy rags. It's already too late. You need to be cleansed by the blood of Jesus. We all do. So I'm not trying to sit here and pick on Doja Cat, but at a certain point, you got to understand that what you are producing in the physical world is a result of what's happening inside of you spiritually, whether you want to believe it or not. All right. Let's continue. Well, made up what they what, which is what you do with art. You you interpret it means it. yeah, you interpret it how you want to interpret it. Everybody has the right to interpret it how they want, but this whole like you're a Satanist, very confident Satanism thing is like, I'm sorry, when the fuck did I say that I was a Satanist? Right. When did I ever say anything or even go marching outside outside the church talking about no. When the fuck did I say that? Anyway, it's just, it's really, it's really tacky and annoying and fucking discredits a lot of the hard work that I've put in. It discredits a lot of the hard work that a lot of people have put in. And uh, I know from on the inside, what I've seen is a lot of hardworking artists who are inspired and are, are doing the fucking work that they need to do to create these beautiful atmospheres. It's not, real when you see a fucking cgi dragon fly by a screen it's not a real dra hold on she said something important i want to rewind this back for a second well not that far and uh i know from on the inside what i've seen is a lot of hard-working artists who are inspired and are a lot of hard-working artists who are inspired so she understands that inspiration comes before you produce something and put it out into the world. So the question would be, what is inspiring you? Is it God or is it the enemy? Are you inspired by light or are you inspired by darkness? And I'm not trying to get too preachy, but it's like everything that we do is spiritual. We can't sit here and say that art is simply art. Because that is not true. Art is inspired by something much deeper. Art is inspired by what we are experiencing spiritually. If we are uh, um, allowing ourselves to dive into the dark and demonic side of the spiritual world, and if we are okay with that, if we are comfortable in that space, in that dark and demonic spiritual realm, if we're comfortable with that, then we will produce dark and demonic art. And that's actually a very natural like place to be because naturally we are rebellious towards God. Look at Adam and Eve. They had everything perfect. They walked with God in the cool of the day. Literally were hanging out with God face to face. Didn't have to worry about nothing. God provided everything. Didn't have to worry about a thing. But they still disobeyed. Naturally, we are disobedient. Naturally, we want to please our flesh. 
So it's not hard work to produce what you're producing. I don't want to discredit the talent. I, I recognize that she's talented. She has a good voice. She understands how to make melodies and she understands how to put a song together. And, you know, she understands how to work with producers and to put out a hit and to make people dance and make people sing along. That's a talent. I'm not trying to discredit that, but the harder work would be to strive to live a, a righteous life because that goes against our flesh. That goes against our nature. It's easy for us to just live worldly. That's easy. The hard thing is to turn and to walk the right path. And I'm not saying I'm perfect. None of us are perfect. We all stumble and fall every single day. Christians are not perfect. But I think that's that that that's the important part is that we understand that we're not perfect. We understand that we need grace. We understand that we need to be cleansed. And so we are on a constant path to seek God. So the question is, again, you're inspired. What are you inspired by? Who is inspiring you? What is inspiring you? It's not God. Clearly, it's not God. You don't have to be a Satanist, quote unquote, to be inspired by the devil. Because if you were being inspired by God, if you were allowing Christ to move within your life, if you were open to it, if you had a heart that was open to receiving the gospel, then that would be evident in what you produce. You know what I'm saying? So it has nothing to do with you marching outside of the church. It has nothing you know, to do with you proclaiming that you're a Satanist, but it has everything to do with what you produce. This is what you produce. This is what's going on in your spirit. These are the images that are that are that are being produced from your spirit that you call art, that you called in, inspired. This is what's being produced. So it's only natural that we're going to think that something deeper, darker and more demonic is going on. Right? It's only natural are doing the fucking work that they need to do to create these beautiful atmospheres. It's not real. When you see a fucking CGI dragon fly by a screen, it's not a real dragon. But people really feel that way. Well, look. It's not real, but the spiritual implications are very real. That's the difference. The spiritual implications are very real. Somebody who... Somebody who fears God is not going to produce the type of quote unquote art that you're producing. And that's okay if you don't fear God, because that's your choice. You have free will. Who am I to tell you what to do? I can just give you a suggestion. I can just tell you that Christ is the better way, which he is and always will be. And one day or another, the whole world is going to know that. But there's definitely spiritual implications to what you're doing. This is another clip. Uh, Doja addresses Satanism uh, allegations um, and some of her tattoos. Let's take a listen. It's like this big. It was, it was one of my most proudest moments ever. And, and people wrote that off as Satanism. And, and it's literally just a little green guy with horns. And I'm standing on his head. Where's the harm? The thing is, I will say my arm piece had pentagrams on it, but that's, it doesn't matter what I say. I'm going to say it anyway. But that's just me being like, cute. I mean, I'm cute. Literally. I'm just like, cute. This is so cute. And I put it on and but I. It's symbolism now. Yeah. Now and I'm yeah. not, fuck, I'm not, I'm also not religious. I'm not. So you have pentagrams as tattoos on your arms. And your excuse is that, okay, it's just cute. You're not religious. But it's like, you got to ask yourself why, like I said, why are you attracted to this darkness? Why do you think it's cute? Why do you think something that is meant for evil is cute? Like, why is that? What's going on internally? What's going on in your spirit? What's going on in your spirit? I mean... 
Like, am I tripping? What's the hold on? Pentagram. Pentagram. Um, in modern times, the pentagram is most often associated with neo pagan religions, especially Wicca. So, I mean, this this is a pagan symbol, which represents whatever type of witches. Um, and it's something that you just find happen to find to be cute, cute enough to actually tattoo onto your own body. I mean, I don't know, like, are, are we the weird ones? Am I weird for thinking that that's kind of like dark and demonic? I don't I don't know. Not religious. And so people aren't going to like that because I wear a cross, but I'm going to do what I want. Um, and, like and, for and, but but that's again, like you, you say you're not religious and people are not going to like that. Th the fact that you're not religious because you wear a cross. It's like the, the it goes back to the same thing. It's like, why? Why, though? Why, though? Why, though? Why do you have this spirit of mockery within you? And not just Doja Cat, because so many people do that. So many people just, oh, I don't believe in Christ, but I'm just wearing a cross. And if, if somebody says, OK, what does that mean to you? Then it's like a big deal. Like, oh, I'm not religious. I just like how it looks type of thing. But like, it don't mean nothing to me, but I just like how it looks. OK, but why do you low key have that spirit of mockery within you when it comes to the cross? Like you understand that this is a sacred symbol a symbol that represents our Lord and Savior defeating death. It's just like, it's like Christianity, you know, time and time again is the only religion that is played with. And then when somebody defends it, it's a problem, like it's hate or something like that. All of these things are spiritual. We don't just do things just because of nothing. There's spiritual implications behind all of our actions. There's a root behind all of our actions. It's either rooted in Christ or it's rooted in the enemy. Whether you know it or not, there's a root to everything. You can't just think, oh, we're just a meat suit just walking around. You would be very foolish to think that. You would be very foolish to think that there's no spiritual realm. You would be very foolish to think that there, there, there is nothing beyond what our eyes can see. You would be very, very foolish. You'd be very foolish. Well, that's a bright green. You'd be very foolish. Um, look, pray for Doja. I mean, you got to understand, and this, is, this goes back to what I was saying again. You, you got this spirit of mockery. You got this spirit of delusion. And I'm not acting like I know everything and I don't want to come across as being like overly judgmental. But it, 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 sometimes sometimes you can't see what's going on with yourself unless you you completely zoom out or unless you have somebody else who can observe it. You know, I don't have anything to to. I, I, w I want nothing more than everyone to be saved. And I want nothing more than, than for everyone to experience the love of Christ. I want nothing more. I need to get this green off the screen. Hold on. It's a little too much. I want nothing more. And that's the only reason why I make these videos talking about these celebrities and whatnot. Is because like I want them to experience the love of Christ. Because just like Doja was saying, like, you know, she's insecure about certain things. She's insecure about her body. She's insecure about her anxiety, her depression and, and stuff like that, you know, and I struggle with mental health, you know, issues as well. But the only thing that's ever gave me a remedy for the mental health issues that I've struggled with is Jesus. That's the only thing. That's the only thing. And I've tried a lot of things. I've tried a lot of worldly things to try to fill that void and it never worked. It never worked. So, you know, I don't know. Don't get mad at us for, for calling out what it is. I mean, it doesn't take a, 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 a biblical scholar to see that there's something demonic going on. Something. There's something, you know. I don't know. I don't know. 
I don't know. Let me know what y'all think. Get in my comments. Like this video. I'm out, y'all.